Alright, this is a Dell GX270 and I'm going to show you how to replace um, the upfront USB ports with the sound. <clears throat> and so uh, this opened up and uh, we're going to take this floppy drive cable we're going to get that out of the way and now you have cables that go to your motherboard all through here along with the, the switch on the side that you can't see in the camera but this is, this is the, the one that goes around. There's one screw in the middle and this is the cable that goes up to the top so we want to back out each one of these and um, you just shake them back and forth and work them out. There's no pull tabs or anything so you do have to be careful. Just pull them out, shake them back and forth gently and set them aside. Remember where, where they go. Right, we're going to do it over here and your uh, sound, the, the switch up front has a little tab right there right there. You have to push that tab to get it out. All right, and it slides right out. Just set that aside and this guy grab the white and move it back and forth pulling the cable. Move it back and pull it out. So all your cables have been disconnected. We're going to do this one screw. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, and that's it. You take this guy and you bring it that way. Up. It shouldn't be that hard to do. And out. And there it is. There's your up front. Um, normally this is what goes bad. People uh, put USB uh, uh, plugs in there and they move them around. They draw them around and they go bad. Um, so what I'm going to do is show you now how to put it back in. So you have the replacement one. Um, there is there is a protective sleeve right here. Uh, if that comes off, just hold it back into place. Uh, we're going to put this down. There is some brackets here uh, that hold, holds it in also. So I'm going to just go on top here, have it sitting up there right above the holes, and take a look at where the holes are. Get the plugs out of the way. All right, line up everything and push it back down. I'm doing this with one hand, so it is actually very easy. And you're going to see the hole for the screw. So you're going to slide that back in. I hope I could do it with one hand. I see the hole, so it needs to be pushed down a little bit more. Just work it back in. That's being a, a pill, actually, to get back in with one hand. <laughs> um, and this guy's not being very helpful being in the way. So if, if it becomes an issue, just pull it back out and try again. Okay, just pull it out and try it again. Let's see what's going on. Um, there's nothing in the way. That, that is, take a look over here. On that side right there, there's a slot in the board. The board has to sit inside those slots. Okay, that's, what, that's where my issue was. And I have done this before, I just forgot. So there's a slot there and there's a slot there. So it sits in there, slide down, and we have our hole. That's why I'm showing you the video, if, uh, that way you don't make a mistake. We're going to take our screw come down. I'm going to get in the way a little bit with my arm. I'm going to screw that down. Don't cross thread. Okay, should go in nice and easy. Alright, that's down. You have to remember, you know, these are kind of idiot proof. Um, you can't, and meaning you can't cross them up. All right, just make sure you don't uh, strip the screws, uh, strip the things. Now, yeah, there's there's a dead key right here, and there's no key down there, so uh, so you can't get it backwards. It's just like what's on the floppy drives. So just be gentle and slide it back on. Okay, we have a bigger one that's over there, but we want to get all the 
close ones. If we put this one on over there, we can't see anything else. So, so, um, okay, this goes over there. This is the one that goes down here. Okay, you can feel when that thing slides back down. Put this guy, this is your switch up front, and put this guy in. Um, there's a keyway right here on this, so there's a keyway down there. You cannot get this backwards. And you pop that back down, and that's in. And last of all, take your floppy drive connector, or hard drive connector, actually, actually it is and uh, run it back through and hook it up to your hard drive. And you're all set. So I hope uh, you found this video informative and uh, go ahead and uh, keep an eye out for some more. By the way, I sell these as I get them on, uh, on eBay for $5. That's including shipping. Take care. Bye.